Four billion people today on Earth don't have access to basic health care. There's a tremendous need and shortage of physicians everywhere. In the developing world, there's just not enough health care workers, or the distances are too great and the population's too dispersed. We're still using tools that really haven't changed in decades, but now in our age of digital and mobile health, what if we could connect those together and put those in the hands of each of us, the consumer, the patient? A lot of chronic conditions can be managed on a continuous basis if we deploy the technology. But what we weren't seeing was a catalyst that brought everybody together to build the whole system and to make it easy for a consumer or a lightly skilled healthcare professional to use. When you have a prize that's sort of audacious but achievable, the competition element speeds up the whole process, creates a fire. The Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize. Our goal is really to bring the tricorder technology of Star Trek to life. The doctor just waved the box over you and you knew what was going on. Star Trek is a, is a positive vision of the future, a future where technology empowers man. So the team has to be able to develop a tricorder device that is less than five pounds. It's able to diagnose up to 13 medical conditions, take five vital signs continuously, and they have a very positive user experience. Now we're really taking the technology out of the sole possession of physicians and putting them into the hands of the community. Tricoda will connect hospital care to home care. We are putting your health back in your own hands. If you're an EMT or if you're a healthcare professional or a mom, what you lack to make better decisions is data. Most medical devices that exist today are developed for healthcare professionals and they diagnose a specific condition and that's it. So this is a first to the world application of these devices. This prize is extremely challenging. It's been a struggle. Everybody is working uh, on their real full-time jobs and this is still just a part-time endeavor. The We're last very... couple years of iterations of different designs. That required a rather substantial team that included nurses, coordinators, and a variety of other clinical experts. You can do all the simulations in the world, but having an active user throws in variables that you can never account for. And they see the result right there as they're using it, and they're like, that's awesome. Where can I get one? The era of just putting blind trust in the medical profession is over, and that's a great thing. Working in the ER is, is, is what I do. The majority of patients really are just looking for a diagnosis, looking for medical advice, people that don't have anywhere else to turn. If they had this at home, I mean, it, it would help 90% uh, of the cases that come to the emergency room. The tricorder that we're developing for this competition, it, it's more advanced than the tricorder from the Star Trek series. This is hundreds of years in the future from what we're developing. Oh, there's not buttons. Oh, nice. that's cool. And they got three LEDs, and we only have two. <laughs> Our team is really a, a family affair. Initially, it was just myself and my brother. And we realized we need some uh, broader skill sets to really get this done. My other brother is a, a practicing urologist and a, an electrical engineer. And my sister is a uh, health policy guru and bringing in uh, friends that are uh, experts in mobile technology, user experience design. He has a vision for where this is going, um, and that really gives us the energy to get this to the end. Working in the ER, it's been critical in developing this device. We have to get to a diagnosis quickly. And we broke down that process of, of all the diagnostic steps. We took that apart and we coded it, and that's the brain of our system. It's really the art and science of medicine mingling together. This tricorder coming from science fiction into reality is amazing. This is the wave of the future. There's gonna to be tons of these kind of devices on the market. All of our team members have full-time jobs <laughs> doing something else. So what we can scrap together on my kitchen table and in my den is what we're putting together. But don't underestimate that. <laughs> We're going to get this done. <laughs>
people will say this is where mobile healthcare started. This project could have an impact on society as a whole. This is going to be a wake-up call for the world. I'm strongly motivated to, to see this happen. I think together we can solve this problem much easier and much faster. These are people who are committed to global scale impact. You feel a connection between the world that Star Trek promotes and the people that see a technology that's only suggested in Star Trek and then make it real and then make it better. If this tricorder device can save lives, what a blessing for all of us. Live long and prosper.